Hello, Sycamore. Happy Fantastic Friday. Today is December 15th, and the winter break countdown continues. One more week to go and two more days until the first exams. Stay focused and finish 2023 super strong. Let's all please stand with our fellow Americans and those who fight for our free country and make it a great place to live. Be grateful for our freedoms as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you to military heroes who defend our freedoms every day, and let's please be seated. Michaela here and Aubrey here with our uh, daily video announcements. First, we have an awesome announcement from Mr. Foley. He says, congratulations to all the wrestling team for three big wins this week. 56 to 31 over Coleraine, 70 to 18 over Middletown, and 45 to 39 over Loveland. Notable wins from last night came from Caden Sansbury and Ryan Dordsnick with who were both down nine to zero and ended up winning their match, demonstrating our motto of never give up. Wow, way to go, Sycamore, way to represent our school. Please note that please note that flight crew will not have a meeting this coming Monday, December eighteenth. You will pick up on Monday, January eighth. Following winter break, Mr. Rodriguez added, Enjoy your holiday. Over to Noam and Danny for a quick announcement. Hey guys, Danny and Noam back again with water bottle flipping. We finally got the winners of water bottle flipping. Whoa, there's, the, one. There's, there's one winner. And the winner is Miss Stein. Miss Stein's class, you have won your prize, and we will give it to you guys by next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next week. All right, and. Thank you for all the other participants that tried out. Good job. And we'll see you guys next time Bye for guys. our next activity. All right. Bye. Signing off. See ya. Thanks, Noam and Danny. Okay, next. Jameson shared a more in Sycamore segment with us. Hello, Sycamore. My name's Jameson, and I'm here with Miss Scott, my teacher. And today I'm running a new segment and where I'll be asking people questions from the district. So number one, what's it like being new to the district? Um, being new to the district has been really fun. Um, I've gotten to meet a lot of new people here. Um, I've been welcomed into this awesome Sycamore community, um, which is new for me, and it's been really great. Um, I love all my students um, and all the teachers here. Um, it's just been a great place to be. And I happen to be one of our students. Has your perspective changed from going from a student to a teacher? Um, going from a student to a teacher was a big difference, but for the past few years I was student teaching, so I've had a little bit of practice before this year, um, but this year was definitely different um, compared to other years. Um, I see everything from a new perspective, um, and I now feel for my students um, because I was once in their position, um, and now I get to see... Um, just the way that I can maybe help them not feel the way that I did um, when maybe I was having a hard time, especially in middle school. Would you recommend your job to the students at the school for their future? Of course. Um, I love my job so much. Um, every day is different and new, um, and just getting to work with students um, has been something that I've always wanted to do. How would you describe your teaching style? Um, it's really important to me to build relationships with my students um, and make sure that they feel welcome. Um, in school and that school is a place that they want to be um, and so starting off all of my teaching at the beginning of the year was really important to me to build relationships with all of my students including you um, and all the other students that I have in language arts um, and it's just been I always see that as the most important thing because if you build a relationship with your students then it will lead into um, just um, having the right to be heard to them. And what made you want to teach? Um, so I've always wanted to be a teacher. I grew up in a family of teachers. Um, and I would always go with my grandma to her school um, and with my aunt. And it was just always so much fun for me. Um, and then once I got into high school, I just noticed that I love to teach people um, and I love to see people grow. Um, and learn new things. And so it was very easy for me to decide that I wanted to be a teacher because um, I just had a passion for it. 
All right, well, that's all we have for the day. We'll see you next Monday. Thanks, Jameson, and welcome to Sidikumo, Mrs. Scott. Now, I will tell Mr. Breno for important student information about School Link. Hello everyone, Mr. Brenner here with a quick announcement for 8th grade students specifically. So 7th graders, you can tune out. 8th graders, this is for you. Last year, all of you were introduced to School Links. It's our college and career readiness program. And next Tuesday, December 19th, we will revisit School Links during flex time. Uh, the goal is to do a quick assessment and ultimately just familiarize yourself with navigating the program School Links. Uh, so on Tuesday, the to-do item, so when you log into School Links, you'll have a list of to-dos. The to-do item for that day is the Find Your Path Assessment. Uh, it's the same assessment that you first took last year. It only takes a few minutes. Um, and after you complete that task, you are welcome to browse all the other activities. Uh, the biggest difference this year in School Links is that you have, uh, they've added a high school course planning feature, which is pretty fantastic, guys. Um, and you will not only be doing your ninth grade course planning, but you're welcome to do all four years of high school if you want to. So it's a great feature that we've added to School Links, and we're going to be doing that in either late January, early February. So our objective really for Tuesday is just to get back into School Links for the eighth graders, refamiliarize yourself with navigating the program, and to do the Find Your Path assessment. Also, keep your eyes on an email, guys. Um, information about School Links will be coming to you so you can easily navigate things. Um, as a reminder, the School Links link can be found on the student launch pad. And all you have to do there is then log in with your Sycamore Google account, and you will be good to go. So again, on Tuesday, eighth graders only, School Links, uh, quick activity, and you do that, you can access that through the launch pad. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to your counselor and we will help you out. Thanks, Mr. Brenner. That was very helpful. Mark, Mark your, your calendars. calendars. Remember, our PBIS first class ticket store will be open today during lunchtime. Remember to bring your first class tickets to lunch. High School Innovation Lab applications are open. Don't miss out. Get your Innovation Lab applications in today. Guess what we wear Monday? Monday the 18th is Who Day Monday. Wear your bangle spirit rails. Tuesday the 19th is Wear Red Day. So plan to wear red for the first day of World Language Exams. And Wednesday the 20th, the 20th is a Sugar Plum Day where we wear purple for World Language and Math Exams. Are you missing something? Get your stuff. Over to Mr. Namaki and Mrs. Lally. Clear out the lost and found. After next week, we're going to invite parents in to come up and check it out. It'll be up by the attendance office. But if you want to stop by in the meantime and get your things. And please don't use the lost and found as a locker. If you need to know your locker number, come see me in the office and I'll tell you what your locker number is. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. We need to learn to be responsible. Get your stuff. Exams are coming next Tuesday. Keep studying and doing your homework to do your best. Upcoming in January after winter break. January 8th, we return from winter break, and January 9th through 10th is art exam, part two, portfolio review class critique. Next, Next up, find those ducks over to our flight crew. Hello, I'm Logan. And I'm Delaney. We're from the flight crew. We will hi be hiding three ducks around the school each week. Two yellow ducks and one translucent duck. If you find a yellow duck, great job. You can keep it. We hope it makes your day great. If you find a translucent duck, then you should bring it to Mr. Rodriguez in the lower history wing and he will give you a prize. Happy hunting! Keep looking for those ducks. Pal of the Pen Club members, don't forget to complete your writing prompt over the weekend if you haven't done so already. Remember, you need 40 uninterrupted minutes to write. Birthdays! Happy birthday to those celebrating today. Students celebrating today are Shania P, Alexander B, Daniel F, Paul K, and celebrating over the weekend on Saturday, Dan K, Aiden M, and Lola R. Have an amazing day celebrating your special day. Joke, Joke of, of the day. day! What do you call a fish without any eyes? I don't know. What do you call it? Oops. <laughs> 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 That's too funny. Well, that's all we have for today. Enjoy your week and have a great weekend. 
and go Lynx!